our subject today to talk about chest wall, which is part of the thoracic cavity. The thoracic cavity consists of walls which formed by suprapleural membrane, walls which have skeleton part and muscle, in addition to the floor which formed by the diaphragm. The walls consist of bony structure include of 12 thoracic vertebrae, 12 pairs of ribs with their castle cartilages and the sternum, in addition to the muscle, fascia, skin, and the neurovascular structure. The ribs. As uh, the vertebral column discussed in previous meeting, I'll start with the ribs. We have two classifications for ribs, one according to their anatomical component for typical and atypical ribs, and the other according to their articulation with the sternum for true, false, and floating. Typical ribs. They share a characteristic feature of having a head, neck, tubercle, and a shaft. The head of typical rib has two facets to articulate posteriorly with the vertebral body above and corresponding vertebrae. The neck attached to the transversal processes of vertebrae above by a ligament. Tubercle has a medial facet to articulate with the transversal processes of corresponding vertebrae. The shaft has posterior angle and less prominent anterior angle in addition to subcostal groove. As we see here, if regarded that, the fifth ribs, ribs uh, so its head articulates with T4 and T5, uh, the neck attached to the transversal processes of T4, and uh, the tubercle articulate with the transversal processes of the T5. A typical ribs, which include first, second, tenth, and eleven, eleven and twelve. The first one. Regarded the most short, flat, and curved rib. It's articulate with T1 only and has a tubercle on its inner border, mark the attachment of the scalenous anterior muscle. Also, has an anterior groove for subclavian vein and posterior groove for subclavian artery and brachial plexus. Second rib is less curved and twice as long as the first one. Uh, has a tubercle on its external border, which is often well marked on a chest radiograph at the site of attachment of the second head or posterior head of the scalenous anterior muscle. Also has an attachment for serratus anterior and serratus posterior superior muscle. 10th and 11th and 12th, all of them has one articular facet on their heads and 11th and 12th also have no, tu uh, no tubercle in addition to that, well, ribs also have no, no subcostal growth. Costal cartilages are unossified anterior ends of the ribs, slope upwards to the sternum. So give us the second classification of the rib four, from the first to the second rib, as they articulate independently with the sternum, so regarded them as true ribs. From the eighth to the tenth, their uh, cartilage unite together to uh, attach finally to the cartilage of the seventh rib, so call them false ribs. 11th and 12th has no articulation at all with the sternum, so call them floating grip. From this articulation anterior and posterior, we have many to, uh, joint work formed, and their type are posterior, you have costa vertebral joint and costa transverse joint. Both of them are synovial. Anteriorly, we have costal chondral joint, which regards as a primary cartilaginous joint, and the sternal chondral joint, which is synovial, except for first that up as regarded as primary cartilaginous. Muscle of the thoracic cage. We have intrinsic muscle, include intercostal muscle and superficial group posteriorly, and extrinsic muscle. The intrinsic uh, muscle, intercostal muscle, consists of three layers, made uh, named from the outer to the inner as the external intercostal muscle, which run downwards and forward, and internal muscle and innermost muscle, both of them run downward and backward. Deep group for uh, in the thoracic cage, we have two groups. 
subcostal posteriorly and transverse muscle anteriorly. The subcostal muscle arise on the deep surface of the lower ribs, span two or three uh, ribs, with fibers that run downward and backward. The transverse thoracic muscle arise on the deep surface of the sternum and adjacent lower costal cartilage and passes to bilaterally to the deep surface of the second to the sixth rib anteriorly. The superficial muscle, which is a three group, lie posteriorly, the costal levator, serratus posterior superior and serratus posterior inferior. Also, we have extrinsic muscle, which is uh, anteriorly we have pectoralis major and minor, Laterally and posteriorly, we have spiritus anterior, teres major, and subscapularis, that labeled by blue color. Posteriorly, we have rhomboid, erector spina, and trabezius. Plus supply of the chest wall. The neurovascular bundle lies between the internal intercostal muscle and the innermost intercostal muscle. And the artery, we have two groups, anterior and posterior. Anteriorly, from the subclavian artery, the internal thoracic artery arise that supply the intercostal spaces from the first to the sixth. At that level is subdivided in two branches, one of them musculophrenic artery that continue to supply the rest of intercostal spaces uh, until the 10th and 11th as they have no blood supply anteriorly. Posterior group, first and second space receive their blood from superior intercostal artery, which is a branch of costal cervical artery, that in turn, a branch of the subclavian artery. From the third to the 11th spaces, receive their blood from the thoracic aorta directly. Venous drainage. Also, we have anterior group and posterior group. Anterior group co accompany the arteries which mean from the first to the sixth, it drain to the internal thoracic vein, and from the ninth to the uh, seventh to the ninth, drain to the musculophrenic vein. Posterior group, the first intercostal space drain their uh, blood bilaterally to the brachiocephalic vein. From the second to the fourth, it drain to the superior inter, uh, inter thoracic, uh, intercostal vein, which uh, drain on the right side to the azygous vein and on the left side to the brachiocephalic vein. From the fifth to the 11th on right side, the intercostal vein drain to the azygous vein. And on the left side, from the fifth to the eighth, it drain to the accessory hemozygous vein and from nine to 11 to hemozygous vein. Radiology of the thoracic cage. On X-ray, we have many normal variants can be seen, fusion, bifurcation, hypoplasia, supplying, more common and common art in upper ribs, especially the first one. The subcostal groove on a PA chest radiograph may appear as a fine line below the ribs or especially posteriorly. It may also appear as shallow indentation posteriorly near the neck, so not to be mistaken with the rib notching or pneumothoracic. The scanning anterior tubercle also may be seen on the second rib usually when it's seen to be symmetrical. In this figure, as we see in the posterior aspect of the second rib, there is a groove. On the anterior aspect of first rib, there is a tubercle for the scanning anterior muscle. And in that, Figure. On the anterior aspect of the second rib, there is a tubercle for a uh, second head or posterior head of the scanning anterior muscle. Cervical rib, which is bony or fibrous band between C7 and the first rib, found in 1 to 2 percent of population when they found uh, 50 percent of them are bilaterally and often asymmetrical. To differentiate between them and the first rib, by transversal processes, as in C7, it's pointed downwards, while of T1 points upwards or horizontal. In this figure, we have a bifid ribs, and here we have unilateral cervical ribs. 
Calcification of the costal cartilage, especially the first rib, usually marginal in male and central tongue in female. Lumbar rib, failure of fusion between the neural arch and the transversal processes, and when they found they are symptomless. Calcification of the ribs. A bony center arises at the angle of the rib in the uh, it fetal week. Secondary center occur at the head and the tubercle at 15 to 25 years of age. This x-ray show a left-sided mini uh, uh, rib fracture, traumatic rib fracture. The sternum, which is second, uh, third bony structure of the chest wall, it has a mobulum opposite to T3 and T4 that articulate with the clavicle and with one and a half costal cartilage. The sternal angle, which is secondary cartilaginous joint and lie opposite to T4, T5, discus face. A body opposite to T5 to T9 made up of four sternobri that articulate with the five and a half costal cartilage. And finally, we have the five processes which remind cartilaginous well into adult life. Classification of the sternum. Bony centers for the mampurum and the sternum break appear from above downwards from the fifth to ninth fetal month. And between the 15 and 25 years of age, sternum break fuses from below upwards. The first processes fuses with the body at 40 years of age, and the body and mampurum may be fused in old age or not fused at all. Radiology of the sternum. The sternum not well seen on PA view was obscured by the mediastinum, uh, but seen well on oblique and lateral view. This lateral view show the mount sternal angle and body of the sternum in addition to the five processes. And this is a PA oblique view, right anterior uh, oblique position. Variation in configuration. If we have deviation of the lower end of the sternum, so gut, Vectus excavatum, and we have if we have prominence of mid portion, call it vectus carnata. On CT, the body is better visualized than mampuram because of its angle, but in mampuram may cause a cortical lack of sharpness. MRI regarded the op optimum method, especially coronal plan. This figure of the sternum, coronal reformated CT, and the other. Uh, MRI of the sternum. This is axial and sagittal view of the CT show uh, sternal body fracture. I don't know what the neck was. Dora Ragad, best reject Allah the pictus excavator. Nah, no. اوكي واللي وراها كانت هذه مجرد برومينيس يصير ان ميد بارشن اوكي يلا اذا هاي نروح على ليكوز بنتي دكتوره شو ادت نعم استاذ فيرتبرال بادي فيرتبرال بادي واحد أستاذي متقولين يا فيرتبرا هذه لمبار سرفايفتا أستاذ تراسك تراسك مو صحيح لازم تقولي دكتورة فرح زهير نعم أستاذ ديد أو فريد ديد أو فريد Of the thoracic rib, the left hand. Thoracic rib, yeah. Did you tell me that this is a rib? No, you don't tell me. Did you tell me that this is a rib? 
شوية صعبة لأنه هو ما مطلع اللور سيرفايكر حتى واحد يقدر يحسب براحته مو صحيح؟ فرح وياي اوكي نروح على دكتور عزام رقم ثلاثة صباح الخير استاذ صباح الخير ربت يوبريكال اوف ذا ثورا سيكريت اوكي رقم أربعة إيلاف ترانسفيرس بروسس هذه اوف اوف شنو؟ مو انا صعب احدد رقم الفيرتبرا ايش قد يعني هي صحيح هذول ما يخالف الست بس قلتي ترانسفيرس بروسس اوف ذا راسك فيرتبرا ليفت فيرتبرا انا ما ردت منك النمبر يعني الرقم مالتها مو صحيح؟ صحيح صحيح يعني دائما الديسكريبشن مالتكم يكون كامل ضمن الشيء المعقول يعني انا ما رايد منك مثلا النمبر بس انت تقولين ترانزفيرز الليفت ترانزفيرز ذا بروسيس اوف ذا ثراسيك اوف ذا ابر طبعا يفضل اوف ذا ابر لانه هذه هي بالابر ثراسيك فيرتبرا ايه سهلت كل ما تكون بريسايز انت معناه انه يو ار جود راديولوجيست هاي خلوها ببالكم بالريبورتنج احنا وياكم على مود نبهكم لا اكثر ولا اقل ماشي لا صحيح دكتور انت, انت من قلتي ترانزفيرز بروسيس ما مو مو خطا بس اكو بيها نقص ترانزفيرز بروسيس وقبل زين اوف ثراسيك فيرتبرا اوف ذا ابر اوف ذا لور ثراسيك اوف ذا سيرفايكل وهكذا فهي احنا وياكم لهذا الغرض يعني اوكي احنا نروح الى سماء عطيه رقم خمسه آه نعم دكتور كوستو فيرتبرا جوينت هم انا يعني ما ما كنتي انت موفقة هو الثاني حكيت ويا الدكتورة قبلك كملي باب العبارة هي صح كوستو فيرتبرال جوينت ايه ايه آه يعني دكتور آه هو ال جوينت بين الرب اند ثراسيك فيرتبرال ايه الليفت كوستو الليفت كوستو فيرتبرال جوينت مو صحيح بالاخص الراسيك غيري زين هذه فايبرس لو ساينوفيال ساينوفيال جوينت ساينوفيال اكو بعد وحده اخرى الكوستو ترانسفيرس جوينت اكسلنت احنا هاي هذا منك على الشات احنا الهدف حتى انتم يعني اكيد انتم عندكم علم مسبق بيها بس احنا همينا وياكم حتى دكتوره ايمان حميد جاسم رقم سته كوستو <تصفيق> 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 شنو؟ ساينوفيل ساينوفيل اكسلنت استاذ محمد كمل وياها هسه رقم واحد مرتضى نعم استاذ مانوبريوم ستيرناي مانوبريوم ستيرناي هو شنو هذا الفحص مرتضى؟ هذا ساجيتال ام ار اي استاذ ساجيتال ام ار اي تي 1 لو تي 2 السي اس اف اسود تي 1 جيد جيد محمد حسن رقم اثنين نعم استاذ ذس از ذس از استرنال انجل رقم ثلاثة يا سمين نعم استاذ ذس استرنال بودي نعم اكو اربعة لا استاذ ما اي واضح هاي عاشت 